Hello beautiful Taurus, welcome to my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your spiritual growth reading. Um, we may also talk about your love life in your spiritual growth reading. Um, I like to separate the readings into your spiritual growth and then your romantic love readings, so two separate videos. But lately, Spirit has been flowing in romantic love messages into your spiritual growth reading. So we'll see where Spirit takes us today. Um, we just go with the flow here and pardon my really comfy attire. I just didn't want to put on anything nicer, I guess. Um, but anyway, so when I was meditating on your energy, I felt this energy clog between your throat chakra and your heart space. There's a clogged energy here and Okay, this is actually at the bottom of the deck. Speak out. Um, sorry, that took me by surprise. Okay. Communicate and solve the conflicts. And look at this blue and green energies. The blue, your throat chakra. The green, your heart space, your heart chakra. There's an energy clog between here, your throat and your heart chakra. I'm seeing a waterfall or I'm seeing water. So water, maybe you need to drink more water, um, but it's as if water is going to flush out the, this energy clog. It's going to open the space between your heart and your throat chakra. You may, may need to express something. Either this is inner conflicts or a conflict with another person, or people, or work. Maybe this is your self-expression, expression of your authenticity, doing something that you've always wanted to do, because you're different, you're unique. Are you a wallflower? Do you not like being in the limelight? Are you a little shy? Are you a little timid? Are you in a situation that you feel like I shouldn't speak out or I can't speak out. Okay. I feel like um, you need to. You need to speak out. Speaking out is expressing your authentic nature, who you are. Maybe you just need to say it to yourself, saying it to the universe, talking to the moon, the stars. Or maybe this is really talking and communicating to someone Maybe you need to tell someone how you feel. Maybe someone needs to speak out and directly communicate to you. Maybe this is a back and forth conversation. Maybe something needs to be resolved here, a conflict with people, a person, or again, inner conflicts, okay? So let's see. Let's see what's going on here. For a beautiful Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot. Okay. Thank you, Archangel's Guardian Angels. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you for providing these messages for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Nine of Wands. Okay, and then the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is, before I get all your cards out, they're streaming all of these messages to me right now, and I feel like I have to say it before I lose my train of thought, because I lose a lot of, I forget a lot of things on my channel. I'm seeing a field of crops behind you. I feel like you're protecting this field behind you. And all of this field, this land here behind you, are all of the seeds that you have planted. These are all of your intentions. You're protecting 
your intentions. You're protecting this land. You're protecting your space. It's like you're defending it. So that no one's energy can mess with it. It's like you're the only one that can tend to these intentions, that can water these intentions, that can care for them. You're also setting new intentions here. You're very, your walls are up. You're very, very protected. You're very much protecting yourself, especially these intentions of yours. Your, your new intentions. You don't want anyone to mess with your manifestations. And I feel like you're learning to speak out Queen of Swords energy. You're learning to um, say what you need to say or say what you have to say in order to protect yourself and to protect this land of yours, this energy space of yours where you have planted these beautiful seeds of intentions for the life that you want to live for yourself. It's like no one is going to mess with what I want to cultivate here. Knight of Pentacles. Let's get all your cards out. Just want to make sure you can see them. Okay. Queen of Wands. The world, the hermit, <laughs> nine of pentacles. I don't know if someone grew up on a farm, but I'm seeing farmland or maybe you're close to a farm. I'm also seeing someone likes to, oh, what are those called? Um, farmer's markets. I'm seeing someone, either they have a business at the farmer's market or they go to the farmer's market or you grew up on a farm. Ten of Wands. The Lovers. Emperor. Okay. Nine of Cups. Two more, please. Three of Swords. The Fool. Sorry, um, I'm getting a lot of things here. Oh, okay. I think we're gonna do one big reading because there's something here that needs to be said regarding your romantic life as well. It's um, kind of all-encompassing energy. 
So, I want to I want to talk about where this energy of yours is stemming from, because I feel like there's a root cause of why you are feeling clogged, okay, and you're going to emerge and express and have this beautiful self-expression of your authentic nature. There's a reason why that is. And the reason is because you encountered someone here that took a really long time in making a decision. Seven of Cups, Hanged Man, Knight of Pentacles, The Lovers. Someone, people, a situation, I, I honestly feel like it's a person that took an extreme long time to make a move. Emperor, look at them holding a chess piece as if they're about to play chess. But they took such a long time to make a move, to decide Hmm, what should I do? Dragging their feet, taking their time, planting their, their own seeds of intentions along the way, but not really making a decision, not really making a move. There is no wands here, there is no action. It feels very stagnant and I feel like because of that energy of theirs, it dis that energy displaced itself onto you and you in you you took that energy and you you took it in. And now you're trying to purge that energy out but it's like it's getting clogged I hope that makes sense um it's like for a long time you didn't speak out in the connection you didn't say what you wanted to say out of fear of pushing this person away or out of fear that this person will no longer be in your life. Um, and it was such a heavy burden. It, it was so, it was, um, it took a lot of you, uh, from you, it took a lot out of you to kind of hold it all in because you held it in. You held in from speaking out from demanding, from saying, this isn't making me feel good, you're taking too long, I feel like I'm an option, when I'm not an option, I am the only option, if you don't recognize that, hard left, okay? So it's like, that energy of you not saying that started to really take a toll on you, and it, that's what created this clogging energy here okay <sighs> exhale it out <laughs> it's heavy because it's like you're holding your breath waiting 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 nothing or it's like slowly They're here in the beginning of the reading, but as we go along, it's this beautiful release and shedding and um, purge of their energy. I, I feel like a lot of you are releasing them and you're no longer holding on. I feel like you're recognizing that your authenticity and who you are is worth fighting for. 
it's worth the energy to get to know. I feel like you're getting to know yourself here with the Page of Swords. Because I feel like you're speaking your authenticity. I feel like you're speaking your truth to yourself. You may speak to them. You may say something to them. Maybe this is like, sorry, can't do this anymore. I gotta go do me. This can be not just you saying it to yourself and quietly exiting. And then getting to know you because you, you deserve all of this energy that you give to someone else to be put back into you and I feel like that's what you're doing here I feel like you're getting to know yourself through this situation through this person this person was the catalyst to you self-expressing who you are you coming out of you know um this stagnant energy you gained a different perspective and said Oh no, this is about me, not them, me. I feel like you're restoring your confidence. You're replenishing again here with water. As mentioned, water is going to flush this clogged energy, Queen of Cups water and fire energy here with the queen of wands restoring your confidence getting to know yourself look at this six of wands what wallflower you deserve to shine look at this beautiful self-expression page of wands energy if this person isn't going to move with you you move yourself you move by yourself because you have things to do. You have intentions that you are laying and, and you're tending to them and you are defending them. You're defending your energy and your manifestations from this person or from people. It's like you are not going to allow anything to mess with this anymore. No more. So you're closing it out here with the world letting it go, starting a brand new cycle. You're dreaming here with the Hermit and the Nine of Cups. Look at you dreaming. Sorry, let me hold it this way. Because I feel like this light here is this nine of this projection of your dreams and your intentions. When you're in this like meditative, silent space, you dream of a cultivated life, of success, of abundance, fulfillment. I have everything that I need. I've made it. And this is what you think about. Right now, your intentions are everything. Everything. And you're tending to them. You're tending to your manifestations. It's almost like you see this occurring for yourself. See this light shining from you? It's like this is, this is a projector. This is what you're projecting out. You're projecting out the Nine of Cups. So this is what's going to manifest itself in your reality. You see here with the Ten of Wands and the Fool, you took the load off, you put it all down. I'm no longer stagnant, I'm no longer feeling heavy, my, the energy isn't clogged anymore, I feel light as a feather, my energy is, my energy is so light, so light, so free. You freed yourself from this energy and here you go taking a leap of faith. The fool, zero, the world, completion, on to the next. With the three of swords, look at this speak out energy, how I was saying that you need to, it, it's an energy clog. When the energy clog dissipates, 
and gets flushed out, look, you're screaming. It's like you're screaming that, that energy out. You're purging it out. Look at this. An absolute release. This is a release. This is you speaking out. This does not work for me. This does not benefit me. This does not help me grow. It's taught me lessons. It's helped me develop up until this point. It taught me lessons, but it's not going to sustain my growth, my manifestations, my fulfillment and my wishes in the future. So I'm going to speak out, communicate, resolve, anything that needs to be resolved and scream and purge it out. And then look at you, nine of pentacles, look at this. Because you defended your ground, you defended the land, you defended your energetic space, your seeds of intentions. Because the, this person is removed from your life and the energy is no longer clogged, and you speak out and you express yourself and your authenticity and you do what you want to do, what you want to create. Look what happens. Look what happens. Nine of Pentacles. You pick the fruit that you planted here, that you defended, that you watered, that you tended, that you cared for. You pick it, it's ready. Do you see that? Beautiful. Beautiful. You're going to be so fulfilled. This is your self-expressive journey. This is the journey that you have enjoyed and you're closing it out so that you can start something new for yourself. That you can cultivate you can act this is your reality you can pick the fruits this is your reality you're you're watching everything grow that you have created because you decided to move alone to create your own foundation because this person wasn't going to move with you so you moved on your own And let me tell you something, just because I said alone does not make you lonely. You're doing this because of your independence, right? Nine of Pentacles, independence. You're doing this for your security, your foundation, yourself, your growth, your sustenance, your sustainability. For your new beginnings, for your self-expression, for your confidence for your self-love, that's why you're doing this. You're not doing this for anyone else but you. And that's for your most highest good, and that's for the others in your life that are going to benefit as well, for their highest good. Because you influence others, you can teach others, you can help guide others because of what you went through. I want to peek a little bit further into what's coming towards you. <laughs> Communication. <laughs> Look at this. Communication and the Ace of Swords. It's it's the same energy. Can you, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords, communication. Look, solve, communicate and solve the conflicts. Look at this um, like problem that you're solving. You're solving this problem. You recognize the problem and you, you're solving it. 
what's coming for Taurus in the future? Can you tell us anything further for Taurus, please? Oh, Knight of Cups. Hello. That's not this person. Let me be clear. It's not this person like, oh, I decided it's you. No, no. Mm -mm. This is someone new, Knight of Cups. Okay, I like that. Can we get more? Four of Pentacles. Might be a little bit hold, holding back. See, you're so protective. <laughs> oh, because you know how far you've come. Okay, that's all they're gonna give me right now. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna push my luck. I'm just trying to peek through the veil a little bit too much. But see here with this Knight of Wands energy and the Seven of Pentacles energy, how I said you're just, you're defending this. You're defending yourself, your crops, your land, your energy space, what you want to cultivate. And you cultivated it all right. And as I dug a little bit more in the future, there's a new person here with the Knight of Cups energy coming forward this wanting to sweep you off your feet energy, this romantic energy of a person, female or male, not gender specific. But you on the receiving end, you're going to be a little bit closed off because you're protecting what you have. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting your land. You're protecting your energy space. You're protecting what took you so long to cultivate, to create. And I guarantee you that someone will fight for that. Why? Because you fought for yourself, right? What you get, what you give out, you get back. Because you took, you removed yourself from this energy, you spoke out, you communicated your self-expression, you created this beautiful, abundant life, and you're protecting it from what you previously endured and you fought for it, someone will fight for you. That's how the universe works. And they're here. Okay. This is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'd love you guys. Oh, let me say quickly the signs before I go. Um, the signs that I see here are Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, I think I said Virgo already, um, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? But again, it can be any sign. That's just the signs that I see prominently in the reading. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sending you so much love, light, and protection. Until next time.